New tonight at 6, a man who spent more than two decades in prison for a murder he did not commit has officially been exonerated. We're talking about Joey Watkins. He credits a podcast for uncovering new evidence proving his innocence. 11 Alliance Paolo Soro spoke with him, his family, and attorney today. My life stopped at 19. Then I come out at 42. 23 years of fighting to be able to live outside prison walls, walls Joey Watkins was never meant to be in. And Thursday night, that fight officially came to a close. Still hasn't all set in with me that it's finally over. A Floyd County Superior Court judge approved a motion from the district attorney to dismiss his case. Watkins was falsely accused of pulling up to a pickup truck in Rome, driven by acquaintance Isaac Dawkins and shooting Dawkins in the head. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison in 2001. I pray that the Dawkins family will do what the DA's office did. I stand on what I told them 20 something years ago. I didn't do this. I didn't I did not take your son. Please Look at the evidence. That evidence coming to life thanks to the Georgia Innocence Project and the podcast Undisclosed. It included cell phone records that proved Watkins was miles away during the crime. Claire Gilbert from the Innocence Project, she said, I'm not going to give up on you. Three weeks to a month later, and she was like, I got a question. She was like, do you want to do a podcast? And I was like, a what? Georgia Innocence Project senior attorney Christina Cribb says they've been fighting to get the charges dropped for years. Joey has been out of prison for eight months, but Joey has been living every day with murder charges still hanging over his head knowing that he is an innocent person. During his more than two decades in prison, Watkins says he learned to play guitar, learned new languages, and got certified in automotives. Now he plans on traveling the world with his family by his side. We are absolutely the happiest we've ever been to have him home. I think the justice system is still broken. As an inmate or a prisoner, the hope for us, you know, if we have no money, if we have no help, that, that is the organization's like the Innocence Project. In Rome, Paula Cerro, 11 Alive News.